Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, I did quite an easy puzzle yesterday. I noted one single comment that said, come on, Mark, stretch yourself. And um, I don't know, it got under my skin. Today, I am going to take on a puzzle that was recommended to us a while ago on Discord. It was actually posted quite a while ago on Logic Masters Germany. But um, this is by Demono, and it is called uh, Battlefield Sudoku Use the Force. Now, we've done some puzzles with Battlefield rules in the past, but it's quite a while ago, and I don't remember any of the necessary techniques, so I'm going to have to deduce those from first principles today. Um, do check out our Patreon feed. There's still Peter C. Hayward's Incredible Sudoku Hunt available there. Um, I will be doing a crossword video soon as well for that. Um, also, we've got um, all kinds of things that have gone up in previous months, loads of Sudoku hunts. And there's our apps, there's our, uh, there's our merchandise and Sven's Sudoku pad, all available on the links under the video. Check them out. Um, but this puzzle, the first link, uh, is, as I say, it's a form called Battlefield, which is like a kind of extension of X sums. So let's go through the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so one to nine in every row, column, and box. Now, consider the f every time there's a clue outside the grid for a row or a column, you have to consider the first, let's just take this one, the first X cells and the last Y cells of a row where X is the number in the first cell and Y is the number in the last cell. So let us say we had, and I'm going to try and come up with a number that would work here. Let's say we had a 6 there and a 5 there. So this is referring to the first 6 cells and the last 5 cells. Now, if we were to colour those, you would see that there is an overlap in the cells that are both green and purple. And what this clue is telling us is that the overlap adds up to five. So that could, for instance, be two or two and three. That is one possible filling of this row. Um, now, these numbers might be smaller and leave an underlap. And in that case, let's just get rid of those and think of an underlap sum. Well, let's, let's just make them add up to five by be but to eight by being oops six and two now this would refer to the first six cells still but this would refer to the last two cells and then this clue would be saying that the gap between the two armies that are advancing this is why it's a battlefield sudoku the gap between them adds up to five so that digit would be a five and that would be another way of filling this row with its clue of five now, there were probably several ways of filling it, and part of this puzzle is to identify how these rows can work, how they interlock and interact with the columns. Um, and that's all. We don't get any digits in the grid this time. I, I think we did the first ever Battlefield puzzle, and I'm desperately trying to remember who it was by. Channel historians will, will be better than me at doing that, and I apologise to the constructor. Um, but it was a really interesting experience, and there have been a few others since. I think we must have done three or four on the channel. But as I say, I haven't done one for ages, so I cannot really remember how they work. I mean, I remember the rules. So I'm just going to go through it again. You have to treat the, f the first number in a row and the last number as... Um, let's just put in four and six there. That would mean the first four cells and the last six cells. Now they overlap only by one cell, and that cannot be a 39. So that would be an impossible way of filling the first and last in that row. So either the overlap or the gap is what we're talking about, and they are summed up. So do give it a go if you feel like it. I, I think this has got five stars on Logic Masters Germany, which means it's hard. You'll be able to judge from the video length how hard I found it, um, but I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. So we'll see how this goes, and we're, I'm going to try it now. Let's get cracking. Now, do we... I'm trying to remember, and that, that introduction should have helped me, and it hasn't really. Do we start with the low numbers or the high numbers, or is that not even... 
Ah, zero. Okay. What I know about a zero row is that there is no overlap or gap, which I'm going to call underlap. So those two cells add up to nine because one army is getting so far and the other army is filling the other cells. So between them, they fill all the cells in the row and there are nine of those. So those two add up to nine. But unfortunately, there are eight possible combinations. So I don't know what to do with that. The two, two must be a single cell of either overlap or underlap. So these two will add up to either eight or 10, not including a two. But that leaves two possibilities for an underlap and three for an overlap. And each possibility could be either way round. So that's effectively another 10 possibilities. So I don't think the low digits are where to start. Let's have a look at the high one. Now, 39 is the highest number in this puzzle. Can that be an... Can it be an overlap? If it was an overlap, it would have to be at least six cells of overlap. Now, if you had a nine at one end, that would mean, and you can have a nine at one end, that that means you're covering those cells that way and a number of these cells this way. So the to make 39, this would have to be at least six or seven. Oh, no, but of course, even if you added all of those eight cells, you're only going to get to 36 because you've taken nine out of the row. Um, I'm subtracting that from 45, which my best friends know, because I've told them the secret, is the sum of every row, because 1 to 9 adds up to 45. Um, so there's no 9 overlap. If that was an 8, if there's no 9, this is less. This is 7 or 6. So you've got those 8 overlapping. Oh, well, it would have to be a 7 yeah, and it's nonsense because although those six cells could add up to 39, once you put an 8 and a 7 there, they, they certainly couldn't. The column, the row total will be much too high. So I don't think 39 can be an overlap at all. It must be a gap, but it's a huge gap of at least six cells. So those six cells are all in the gap. Mind the gap. Um, and the, oh, I see, the the outside cells, the cells outside the gap, can only add up to six. And they can't be a total of six in the, the perimeter cells, because that would imply there are six cells in the armies and only three in the gap. So those, I think those are going to have to be one and two. And then one of these is a three, and the other one is in the total four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that makes 39. That works. I'm, I'm just trying to work out if it's the only thing that works. You couldn't do one and three. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The simplest way to see this is, I think, and I'll probably be very inarticulate in explaining this, that we've worked out it can't be an overlap in this row. It's got to be a gap. That gap, because of the total 39, has to be at least six cells. That means there's a maximum of three cells outside in the two armies or X sums. And there's also a minimum of three cells in those because you have to put at least a one and a two in this in those two places. So that must that one and two is fixed. There is another three that is not green in this row, that is not in the gap. And that goes beside the two because that's an army of two cells. Now what's going to happen in the 37? Can we do the same sort of thing? If we had a Nine, yeah, the, the eight overlap wouldn't get to uh, 37. It could only be a maximum of 36. If you only had eight and seven here, well, I mean, it's just nonsense. You'd, the gap wouldn't include that eight and seven, and they're 15 out of the 45, so you'd only be left with a maximum of 30. So there's no overlap. This works exactly the same. The gap, the underlap, has to be has to be at least six cells again, because 98765 adds up to 35. So this is the same deal here. 
Again, right, now the outies in this row add up to 8, which is 45 minus 37. Do they have to have a 1 in? Oh, again, there are only three cells, yes. So they're either 1, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 5. And they can't be just two cells, because if those two cells added up to 8, that would use too many army cells. Do they have to be... Yeah, they have to be... Oh, it's three cells. And that means they have to be one and two, which add up to those three cells, which add up to the, the number of cells involved in the armies. That's right. And then one of these is a five. Ah, OK, so it's a very X-wingy symmetrical pattern here in some way. One of these is a five. The other one is green as part of the gap, which adds up to 37. Right. That's our start. Now let's try the 34 row because can this be an overlap? If you had a 9 here, I'm just going to think about this again, then you'd be adding those cells that way. This way you couldn't add 8 because that would only be 36. Oh, okay, but you could have 7 with a 2 there. They would add up to 34. That would be an overlap. Oh, hang on, though. You, I think I'm asking the question the wrong way round. Oh, my goodness, yes, look. One, this 1-2 one, X-Wing, this is massive, actually, in this puzzle, because we get clues... No, it's not because we get clues for the downs, it's because we get clues for all the acrosses. Anyway, this is massive, especially for high numbers here, because what can these two cells be? If you tried to keep them low, if you wanted a big gap to make the 34, you're not going to be able to do it now because the minimum, they can't be one or two anymore. They'd have to be three and four, which would only leave a gap of two cells, which, believe you me, is never going to add up to 34. So this is not an over, a, a gap situation. This is definitely now an overlap situation. And maybe you'd have to do what I just came up with, which is a nine and a two beside it. If you just tried to do eight and seven... Though uh, you only need f five cells to add up to 34, but they would use either eight or seven. Well, I mean, eight and seven, it's just far too many. You'd have eight that way, seven that. It's not necessarily far too many. It, it does overlap by six cells. Oh, but the point is... Yeah, I mean, to leave out... Hang on. Sorry, I don't know what I'm trying to work out now. I'm trying to work out whether 9 is definitely in this sum. And I'm sure it is. Sorry, whether 9 is definitely one of the ends of this row. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sure it is because if you didn't have a 9, the most they could be... Well, let's say that was an 8, but you don't have a 9 this end. So that's those... Oh, well, maybe this could work. If this is... Say, oh, well, it would... Okay, 34 is at least five cells. So that would have to be six or seven. And that would count these cells. But they would have to include an eight if it was six. So that would have to be a seven. But if those added up to 34 plus the eight plus the seven, that would already be 49. That's not possible. So there has to be a nine in one end. And I think we worked out it can't be 9, 8, because that would always add up to 36 as the clue. It has to be 9, 7, with a 2 in one of those cells. And this is these are part of an overlap. So let's make them purple. The gaps are green and the overlaps are purple. So that took me a long time to work out what I could have probably understood much more simply. Let's see if I can apply the knowledge to the 31. Now, again, it can't be a gap because 3 and 4 are the minimum size of gap and that would leave two cells in the middle which have to add up to at most 17. And looking down the other row sums, I'm beginning to realise that's probably what's going on in this row. That's why it's 17. But anyway, it can't be a gap. So it's definitely an overlap. 
Now, does a 31 need a 9 in it? If it was 8, 7, then it would be those 8 and these 7. So the overlap would be those 6 cells. 31 plus 8 plus 7 is 46, and that's already blown the sum of 45, let alone there's one more cell. So there's no way. There's no way that it can't have a 9 in. So we've got a 9 X-wing as well. So one of these is a 9. Now, how big does it have to be? 9 one way. Ah, yeah. If you have a 9 there, so you're only counting 6 or 7. It can't be 8 cells because they would add up to 36. If it was 7, then the outies now have to add up to 14, which is 45 minus 31. So you could have 9, 5, which would actually affect where 5 was there. Never mind about that. Or you could have 9 and a pair of cells. So it's 9 with either 6 or 7 in this row. So that's an X-wing on 9s. Oh, I should fill that in there. Sorry. That's an X-wing on 9s. So in these columns... Ah, in one of these columns, there is a 9 in one of the perimeter cells. One of these is a 9. Oh, I've just, uh, just before I look at that, I'm going to remember this 0. This adds up to 9, and neither of them can be 1 or 2. So it's either a 3, 6, or a 4, 5 pair. This pair adds up to 8 or 10. If it's 8, it's a 3-5 pair, which would put a 2 either there or there. If it's 10, it could be 3-7 or 4-6. OK, that's not so helpful. So let's go back to thinking about a 9 in the column. So if that's a 9, this becomes a 7. I mean, the same will be true over here, but we have different totals. We have 21 on the left and 18 on the right. Now. One of these is a 9, so that is going all the way up. The overlap is then like an X sums clue. If this was 3, that's not enough for a 21 clue because th the first three cells would have to add up to 21, and that would need 18 here. That's too many. So that would have to be 4, 5, or 6 to allow a 21 clue. Now, a 6 would leave outies of 24. That would mean those would be 9, 8, 7, and that's not possible, both because of that and that. So it's not... If, if the 9 is this side, that's a 4 or 5. Now, if it's 4, it goes 4, 7 is 11. 8, 2 is possible. No. It's not possible. That can't be an 8 because of this 2 clue. If those first 8, there's only one bit of overlap and it can't be that cell being a 2 because that would have to be a 2 to make that the army. Wow. So if that's a 9, that's a 5. I'm just going to put that in. And that would then add 5 plus 7. It would have to be a 7 because it's a 9 down there. That's 12. And then these three would add up to 9, which are going to have to be a 2 there and a 3, 4 pair. And that becomes a 6, and that becomes an 8. It is just possible. And in this sort of puzzle, if you find a just possible... Oh, I did not mean to write a 5 there. I meant to put it in the corner. If you find a just possible, it's often right. Let's try 9 here and see what happens to the 18. Now, this could be a 3 with a 7 there, and that would need to be an 8. And that can't be an 8, because we've got the same problem in this row with the 2 clue. That would be the only overlap cell. That can't be a 2, because that would have to be a 2. So that couldn't be a 3. So could this be a... F well, it can't be a 6 this time, because they would have to add up to 27. Could it be a 5? Um... It's difficult. The outies then would add up to 27. And you could just have 9, 6, 8, 2 there. 
five seven four one three I suppose does work. Could it be a four? The trouble is I think this is much more possible and I'm getting annoyed now because I think I'm on the wrong path here. I'm just going to think again about whether it could be a four. If that's a four, this is a seven, that's eleven. Then these two have to add up to seven, being six, one or five, two. Oh, hang on one second, I'll just get that. Right, sorry about that. Um, now, I don't want to lose my train of thought. Now, we were wondering if that was a nine. Then we've got a seven here. Ah, okay, something I just didn't think about earlier was if you get a seven here, uh, it puts a two over there. No, maybe that's not actually that useful a thought. So if this is a nine, Didn't I work out this could be four or five? I think even there was a possibility of it being six, so this isn't the way to go at all. Bother. Maybe I need to think, ah, this has a five overlap or underlap. Ah, okay, that is useful. If it was an underlap, the minimum that these, oh yes, the minimum that these could be is either a 3-4 or a 3-5 pair. And I, I can now show that neither of those work. If it was a 3-5 pair, there'd only be one cell of gap, which would have to be a 5, but that would clash with the 3-5 pair. So that's impossible. If there was a 3-4 pair, you'd have to have two cells, either there or there, that added up to 5. But they would need either the 3 or the 4, so that doesn't work. So at least I know that we have an overlap here, but of one or two cells. It can't be any longer being a five. Um, so these two add up to 10 or 11. But annoyingly, they have a lot of possibilities. If it added up to 10, I can't see why they couldn't be either 3, 7 or 4, 6. Oh, bother. If it added up to 11, that doesn't stop this being a two cell sum. Okay, so all I've established there is this is an overlap row. And that doesn't actually help me. Oh, good grief. What am I meant to do? 17 doesn't look helpful. The two I've already kind of looked at and that we know the perimeters add up to 8 or 10. I suppose if I know they add up to 10 or 11, they add up to 8 or 10. I don't think that taking the sums in total of these columns is going to do it. I think I'm going to have to work out which one of these is a 9. So I only had the five to rule out here, and that would go five, seven, and then it was a two here and a three, four pair. Now that two would be next to the three. So that would have to be the four. And that would necessarily make this a six, I believe. Wow, this is getting a bit complicated now, but I, I'm sort of dimly seeing something here. If that was a nine, we'd have five, seven, three, two, four. Because that two would lead to a three here. That would give us this four here. That would have to be a six. Now, we'd be having a nine here, a seven or six here. 
I just can't tell what it means for this 18 clue because I don't know what goes in up here. Oh, come on, Mark. Think of how to get through this. These one, two pairs. Are they doing... Oh, they put one and two in this... They do put one and two in those positions in this row. Now, if this was a gap, a 3-5 gap, it's not a 3-5 gap. We know it's not a gap. It's an overlap. If it's a 3-7 overlap, we get a 5 in one of those positions. If it's a 4-6 overlap, we get a 5 in one of those positions, which forms a triple. But I don't think that's actually a problem. Ah, okay, come on. Let's use the force. That's what the puzzle says to do. I don't know how to harness the force here. Do I have to think about where 8 goes in the column? It's not a stupid thing to do, actually. Where does 8 go in the column? 8 can't go here because of it would overlap too much. Would it? Maybe not. If 8 overlapped with 6, you'd get those cells. They could add up to 21, I suppose. 8, 6... Can 8 be here? Yes. Oh, good grief. Okay, this is... <laughs> I, I mean, I was going to rely on the fact that 8 can't be here because of the two overlap it would create. Okay, I'm going to think anyway. Can 8 be here? Then we have an overlap of 5, which would have to be a single cell 5. That would need a 2 there. That's not possible either. The double cell is not possible because of that one, two. So eight can't be there or there. So eight in this column is in one of these two places. The same must apply in this row. So that is actually an eight X-wing. Oh. Well, that could be useful because then both row one and row seven have an eight at the beginning or end. Oh, so eight is in the some places here. Ah, oh, and 8 begins one of these things here. Right, maybe 8 can't begin this, even with a 6 there, because then these 5 would have to add up to 18. 1, 2... I don't know, they could. Wow, 8 does begin one of these. So what if 8 was with a 5? Oh no, it wouldn't be with a 5. It would be with a 6 or a 7 down here. Ah, 8 with a 7. That would be 8 down, 8, sorry, that would be 8 down and 7 up. That would be 6 cells. And that would work fine, because in fact if you had 8 there, 7 there, you'd have 9 here. Those would add up to 21. There'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's interesting. So eight couldn't be with seven here. Okay, can I rule out that eight with six here would work somehow? Eight with six would make those five add up to 18. You'd also then have eight is 23, six is 29. These two would be nine and seven. And that's fine. Oh. Or is it fine? Right. If this was an 8, this can't be 7, because 6 cells don't add up to 18, ever. If that was an 8, can this be a 6? And the interesting thing is, that makes those add up to 18. The other four add up to 20, 
7. Is that right? Yes. 8, 6, 14. I've got my maths wrong. 18 plus 8, 26, plus 6, 32. Yeah, plus another 13. So that would have to be 9, 4. Oh, come on, there's an 8 in one of these. That must help. The trouble is, you put an 8 in one of them and a smaller number in the other, and you can add 13 in various ways in the row, and the same must be true about 17 along here. So it doesn't seem to have helped this 8 X-Wing. I really thought it would. Bother. Um... Eight in one of them. Come on. Ponder it some more. Now, if that was a nine, we worked out we get a five here and eight here. Actually, I think that was part of the assumption. If you have five here, then you have to have eight here. And that means the that area would add up to 13, which could be, what, one, two, four, six, or one, two, three, seven. seems to work. 9 here. I think this could be 4, 5 or 6 or something. We never really ruled that down much. Oh! It's a really interesting puzzle, but it's very, very hard for me to get to grips with it, I have to admit. I need to think of something to do here that works. Come on. Come on, Mark. What can we do that works? That's not relevant that they add up to nine. What was it? We know that this is an overlap, so... They add up to 10 or 11. I don't see how to use these down clues at all. Oh, come on, think about these eights again then. One of these does have an eight at the top. And that is overlapping with either a six Oh, could it be with a 7? Yes, it could be here. In fact, if it was 8, 6, that would be a 9. And that wouldn't leave... And if you put in 21 in there with 8, 6, 9, that would have to be a 1, which is impossible. So, if the 8's this side, that is a 7. But... If the 8 is... Oh, I see. So, if the 9 is this side, that's not an 8. That's an 8. And if the... If instead, that is an 8, this can't be a 6. So, actually, I can take 6 out of there. Now I've got a 7-9 pair in the column. I don't think that really helps, but it's surprising. Those two are from three, four, five, six as well, because neither can be eight. Maybe it's... No, I was going to say maybe it's interesting that one of them must be three, but I don't think it is. So, six here. That might be a pressured possibility. Six here. That requires those five to add up to 18. With an 8 here, 18, 26, 32. Then these two have to add up to 14. They can't use 6 again, so that would be 9, and that would be a 4. And the alternative, oh, 8 there and 7 here, that doesn't work because 6 cells can't add up to 18, so that can't be a 7. So it's a different situation over this side. 
And I suppose that means in the bottom row, we either have a 6 here or a 7 there. And the overlap is then there or there. So either those two cells add up to 5, or that one cell is a 5. Which is a really weird dichotomy. And absolutely defies pencil marking. But we're really down to two possibilities. 9 here gives 6 here. Then those add up to 18. You get 4 and 8. Is there a problem with 4 being there? That would be interesting. This could be... This couldn't be another 4. It would have to be a 6. And that would put a 2 here. Eight, seven, no, eight, nine, four, two. There'd also be a two there and a two there. Interesting. Not conclusive, but interesting. Nine here, though, gets us gets a seven here, eight here. Oh, well, okay, that is interesting. Those add up to 17. Now, the 4, 5, or 6 add up to 18. So, remaining numbers in the column, 17 and 18 is 35, add up to 10. And that can't be just one of those, so this can't be a 6. It can't even be two of those. It would have to be three. Wow! because these two can't add up to 10 on their own. So, the only way, if this is a 9, is for this to be a 4. So either that's a 4 or that's a 5. And that's kind of interesting too. Now, if this isn't a 4, if this is an 8, we worked out there's a 4 here. So there is actually a 4 in one of those two cells, and that's not a 4, and therefore this one's not a 5 which is a surprising conclusion. Now, 4 would be adding 4, that's opposite a 9 here, 4, 7, that's 11, and then these two would add up to 7. They would be either 6, 1 or 5, 2. So that would be a 6 or a 5 which would require, require this to be either a 4 or a 3. Ah, it could go either way. <sighs> Good grief, this is mind-blowing. Demono is a blinking genius, isn't he? Now, 9 there, 8, 7. And that would... No, that's not how it would work. 9 there means 4 there. 6 there would mean 8 there. Then those would add up to 18. 26, 32, that would be the 4. That's how it works. We'll go 8, 9, 4. And that would have to be a 6. Oh, there's something. There's just one little thing that will fix this. If I can think of what it is. What is it? Okay. Seven can be here in this column, but where else can seven be? I don't think it can be here, because that just doesn't work with either six or nine. Seven there. Wow, it does just work with a possible three here. But that would put two there. This is interesting. Where else can seven be apart from here? I don't think it can be here. Because that would put a three here and a five here. And one of those has to be three or five in that same box. Wow, that's weird. So that can't be a seven. I don't think it can be here, because seven there would put eight there. You'd have an overlap of 
six cells, which is more than 17. So the only two places for seven in this column are in those two cells. No, in those two cells. One of those is a seven. If it's here, that's a two. If it's there, that's a two. So two is confined to one of those two places in box one. Oh my goodness, what does that mean? So I've got one and two are a pair here. Nine is in one of those two. Eight's in one of those two. Seven's in one of those two. Four's in one of those two. My goodness. So this is three, five, or six. Which makes a total of 10 cells or 11 cells with this one. So it can't be a three. That is a five or a six. So maybe even three is confined. That's not a three, because this 18 sum didn't work, it put an eight there. That can't be a three unless that was a five, and then you'd put two there. It can be a three. Bother. I'm sure that can be... Actually, that can't be a three. That would be eight there. These two would have to add up to 17, and they'd have to involve an eight. So three is in one of two weird places in this column as well. So what does that do for this? It can't be one, two, three, four, eight. Oh, it can be eight. It can't be nine. Well, I don't know what else it can be. But it can't be three. In fact, maybe I haven't just thought enough about what eight can overlap with. If it can't overlap with three, it could overlap with four, five, maybe even six. So these are from eight, four, five, and six. I know, I know I'm not being very clever here. I'm sorry if you can see the next step, but my goodness, I'm finding this complicated. And it'd be very tempting to actually just bifurcate one of the ways round, because the other way you will then learn a lot about. Now, if this is five or six, and this has to add up to 10 or 11, that can't be three either. So three in this column is also in one of those two places. So there's a three X-wing as well now. That's just madness. Ah, oh, no, it's not madness. It's very, well, it's, it's a bit useful because if three has to be in one of these cells, that is definitely a three, six pair. So I can take out the four and five possibilities. Now, Five, six can go together, or six there could go with four here. And that would put a single five there. But if five, six go together, you've got a pair making five in two cells somewhere here. Have I thought enough about this 31 total? Yes, I have. It's either with a five there or a pair making five here. I remember that now. Five here would force that to be a five, which would put that as a two, which would put a three there. So a five there would go with a three here. I don't think that's all that interesting. Ah, oh, the five in one of these cells would, f if five was there, it would force that to be a six which would make that a four. So if five was there, that would force six there, nine there, three there. This is actually five or eight, and this is four or eight. They are literally down to those possibilities. This one, Maybe this is just down to three, four, and seven, and maybe I'm just not spotting some quintuple that's been created or something. I don't think so. Three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, but I mean, that's the result of having a seven, nine pair and a one, two pair. 
over here, it's not so cut and dried. Now, if that's a four, we know that's seven, eleven. These two add up to eight, so that would then be five or six. But if that's an eight, with this being a six, then the overlap is those cells. No, those cells. They add up to 18, plus the 8 and the 6 is, I keep doing this, 32. That would be a 9. That would be a 4. This can't be a 3. Oh, and there we go. Why have I not done that before? 3 has only got one place in this column now, and it's there. Wow, that is so complicated. I dare say I'm not anything like finished, but... Now, if this is a 4, that's a 6 because they can't add up to nine. But if this is a five, that's a six. In both cases, that's a six. So now we know where nine is, and this is gonna untangle pretty much all of these end and start positions, I think. And I could be wrong about that. I could be completely wrong about that. But now we know that this is adding well, no, let's do this one. That has to be a 4. It can't be an 8. These 4 add up to 18. 11, oh, I don't know. That is 5 or 6. Now, let's just look across at this 2 clue. 5 could go with 3, or 6 could go with 4. Neither could go with 5. In fact, the only position for 3 in this column now is here. So that's a 3, and that must go with 5. And we know where the underlap is. It's got to be there. That's a 2. Now, oh, I suppose I knew from this. Let's do the colouring. That's the overlap. That's the underlap. Still don't know on these 3s and 5s. This now has to be, I don't know. That is in the overlap, but that could be as well. And either that is 5 or they add up to 5. Wow, okay. Keep going, keep going. There must be things to spot here. This one is an 8, isn't it? That's important. And this one is not an 8. So the 8 in this column is here. I mean, this has all been sitting there. Actually, I can fill in the overlap in the top row. It's those three cells. They add up to 13 without an 8 and a 4. Oh, with a 2 by Sudoku. Good old Sudoku. So with a 2 and another pair that makes 11 that aren't 2, 9 or 4, 7 or 8, 3 that are 5, 6. So we can put in 5 and a 2, 6 pair. Oh, I feel like I'm doing something finally in this puzzle. Um, now, I didn't get down to considering this one. Oh, that. No, I still don't know. This one. Eight there, so those three are in the overlap, and maybe that cell, and they add up to 17, the purple cells. That, that's that got a lot of possibilities. Zero there, we've done that. 31 down here. Ah, yes, these are the overlap. No, wrong side. Uh, those are the overlap, and they add up to 31, plus nine is 40, plus that is a five. Oh, and that fixes the five. So that goes with the two. We get a one there, two and one. Oh, look at this stuff. That fixes four and five as well. Now, let's keep going. That's not where the three is. The three is over this side. Those two are part of the underlaps, green. We now know this from that five is overlap. They add up to 17, plus eight, 25, plus five, 30. Mm, those three add up to 15, which is a very middling total. Um, but apart from that and this, I've used all the across clues to the fullest extent. Right, but I'm getting some numbers in these downs now. That can't be a two. Ooh, so two's in one of these. Oh, this can't be a five anymore, thanks to that. So it's... Oh, in fact... I've got the six and the four. Well, I've put the highlighting in entirely the wrong place. Well, thank God that didn't matter. The highlighting should have included that cell, which now is a five. 
So this is a one-two pair by Sudoku. Right, sorry about messing up in row five, but we're there now. I get another five in the grid here. I think I've done all the... F yeah, I have this with this one done, and one in box one, I will have done all the fives. There it is. Now, that means I get a five, those five cells, and there's some sort of... I don't know, overlap or underlap. Actually, this can be almost anything. That's surprisingly unhelpful. What can this be? 1, 3, 7 or 9 by Sudoku. And down here, 1, 3, 4, 6 or 8. Right, and a 15 overlap or underlap. That's not easy. I thought it was going to just fall apart. Couldn't be more wrong about that. Um, let's do some Sudoku instead then. Or can we? I don't know. Maybe there isn't any more. Three in box three goes there. Then these others are one, eight, and nine, of which the top one can't be a nine. Two, six, five, four, eight. Ah, oh, th this is a three, nine pair. Oh, well, that's considerably limited what that could be, which might be very interesting. I'll get back to that in a moment. Three, four, six. One of those is a seven. Right. So if this is a three, those three cells are highlighted. Then 15. Well, it can't be with an overlap. It can't be an eight there because those two cells would make 15. If that was a six, there wouldn't be an overlap. So then we'd have a gap. Four is, would not leave enough space to make 15. Three is impossible because we're positing a three at the top. And one would leave five cells, but one and three can't be in them. That cannot be a three. My goodness. So that's a nine. So we're definitely talking about an overlap. This can't be eight or six now. It can't be one either. So either those three add up to 15, in which case it would be eight, four there. Or those four, in which case they would add up to 15, 20, 29, 31. This would be a 6, 8 pair. Bah! Let's look at this one. Those three cells. Now, if there was an underlap, this can't be a 5. It would have to be a 4. And that would be 6, 1. If there's an overlap, this would have to be an 8. And those two would, would be 6, 1 as well. So that's either an 8 or a 4. Oh, hang on. That's brilliant. Because I said if this was a 3, this would be 3, 8, 4. Well, you can't do that and have that cell in the box. So that's become a 4. And that bounces back like Tigger and makes that an 8. Now I get 6, 1 up here. That is the overlap in this column. That fixes 2 and 1. Oh, wow. That was a lucky spot, actually. 4, 7, 9 there. I've got a 7 can go in there. 4, 8 pair in the box. That fixes this as a 1. Uh, that also fixes the 6 and the 1. These can't... Uh, that can't be a 4. Wow, that's so strange. Now, these do add... Okay, well, that 4 makes that an 8 just by Sudoku. But I think I worked out this was going to be a 6. If those 4 add up to 15, plus 5 is 20, 39, that is a 6 to make 45. Good old 45, where would we be without you? So this is a 137 triple, in which the top one can't be a 1 and the bottom one can't be a 3. Now, what about this? This adds up to 17. Can that be a 9? This would have to be 1, 3, 4, as it can't have a 5 in it. That works. Bother. If this was a 7, this would add up to 10, which couldn't be 2, 3, 5. So again, it would have to have a 1 in it. So there must be a 1 in this purple row. 
Um, I don't know what that means. Seven and one is eight. The other two would add up to nine, which would have to be three, six. Oh, and you can't get a six in this. So actually it doesn't work with that being a seven. That has to be a nine. And then this is one, three, four in the purple here. My goodness. Two, six, seven in these cells. That can't be seven. Hmm. Why didn't that do more? Those can't be nine now. So they're a four, seven pair. That's a three. That fixes this triple. Now we've got a one in that row. One, seven, four, nine, five, eight. That is two or three. That's part of a two, three, six triple. This is an eight, nine pair. Now, what about this column again? I've done this column. I've done this column. What about this one? Those five cells... Can they overlap with 6? Yes, if that was 8, 1. Can they underlap with 3? Yes, that would be 9, which would again make that 8. Can they underlap with 2? They would add up to 9, and that doesn't look possible. So this is 8, either way round. That's a very lucky spot as well. Wow! But, I mean, it's brilliantly clever. That has to be 4 in the row. I don't know if I could have seen that before, but I've seen it now. Um, that's six. This is a three-eight pair. That's a seven-nine pair. Getting loads of pairs in columns two, three, seven, and eight that will probably all resolve at the end, if I'm right. Oh, that, I've got a three there. Yes, that is two. So, in fact, that triple was done the whole time. One, two, six. Six there. A one-two pair. I can fill them in. 2 and 1. This is an 8-9 pair that I can't. This is a 1-4 pair. Right, let's start up these columns now. 1-4 there gives 8-4, gives 8-9, gives 7-9, gives 7-2, gives 6-2. And those columns are done. Surely I can do the same. I've got to use that 6 to give. 6-4 to give. Oops, 4, 3, to give 3, 8, to give 8, 9, come on, yes, to give 9, 7, to give 7, 1. What a brilliant puzzle. Oh, that's just every kind of magic. Magnificent stuff from Demono. No wonder it's recommended, but I mean, oh, I don't know. I don't know if there was an easier way of seeing this stuff. I mean... How was I meant to think to focus on three in this column? I don't know. Or it was getting that cell's possibilities. It was really, really hard. Anyway, we are done. Hurrah. Well done. Well done us. Well done, Demono. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.